When you have reached this stage of the course, you know that antibiotics are being heavily misused in multiple sectors and that antibiotic resistance indeed is a momentous issue of our time. But the good news is that there are many things we as individuals can do to prevent and slow down the spread of resistance. By taking this course, you have already taken an important step by intending to improve your knowledge about the subject. Our plea to you all is, please don't stop here, but talk to people in your surroundings and spread the knowledge you have acquired. The awareness about antibiotic resistance is still far too low around the world and education and awareness raising is therefore fundamentally important. Having an understanding for the devastating public health effects antibiotic resistance has can hopefully serve as motivation for taking action and improving or changing behavior. But what can we do then? Well, first of all, we can try our best to avoid getting infected. Difficult as it may seem to impact, there are actually many things we can do to at least improve our chances of staying healthy. First of all, ensuring good hand hygiene is key. Please wash your hands often with soap and water, after visiting the bathroom, uh, before eating and cooking, and when returning home after visiting infected individuals or crowded places. Secondly, avoid foodborne infections by using different cutting boards and cooking utensils for raw meat and vegetables. Ensure that meat, especially chicken and pork, are well done. And uh, wash vegetables and fruit carefully and peel them when possible. Remember to also store leftovers cold in order to prolong the freshness of food. A third brilliant way to avoid infections is to get vaccinated. To vaccinate is to trigger the buildup of immunity by simulating infection. With other words, getting vaccinated is to develop immunity to relevant pathogens without actually becoming ill. The outcome is that our bodies become well prepared to tackle these pathogens the next time we encounter them. Hence, we get protected from disease. Regardless of how careful we are to avoid infections, uh, we all become infected from time to time then it is important to remember that many illnesses cannot be treated with antibiotics. For example, influenza and the common cold. All use of antibiotics, whether appropriate or not, contributes to antibiotic resistance and the use of these potentially life-saving medicines should therefore be reserved for treatment of serious illnesses. Don't take antibiotics unnecessarily and don't self-medicate. If needed, Please see a healthcare professional for diagnosis, respect the recommendations and follow the directions in case antibiotics are being prescribed to you. Stay at home as much as possible when ill. Rest and avoid transmitting the infection to others. By following these recommendations, you do a lot to avoid transmitting resistant bugs. It is a favor to all of us.